Hi there, this is Max from Coldscreen. And together with my co-founder Till, I will be illustrating how to get started with a brand new Coldscreen for Windows. So first of all, you want to head over to our website, that is www.coldscreen.co. Click on Get Coldscreen for Free. You get to the download page, scroll down, tick the box, I agree to the end user license agreement and privacy agreement and then click download for Windows. Once it has finished downloading, you want to start the installation. So click on the file. Coldscreen should now start automatically. And if you don't see it in front of the browser, just click on the little icon at the bottom. It will pop up to the foreground. When you launch the application for the first time, you'll see that you have the option to either continue using your Google account or signing up with your email address and a password. It's easier to do it with the Google account, but for the sake of the illustration, I will do it with my email address. So simply type your email address here. Click continue. Provide your name and the password. Click sign up. You see, I get a message saying uh, a verification email has been sent to my inbox. I'll check my inbox here and correct. I received a verification email. I click the link. It says, thank you, your email is verified. You can now close this window. When you go back to the application, you will see that this tutorial has started. And if you want to learn how Coldscreen works, simply click the button and you can click your way through these different steps. Here we can see how easily Alice is able to share. And when she clicks the tab, it shows up on your display. I'll hit next. Now it's my turn. So I move my mouse over this window. It says click the tab to try and voila, it now shows on Alice's display. You can see how even my mouse pointer is reflected on her display. I hit next. And now we can see how Alice will move a window on her display and it moves on my side as well. And finally, to illustrate mouse and keyboard input, Alice is going to interact with my window as if it were hers. And you see she clicked the button and started an application. Excellent, now I understand how Coldscreen works. So I'll hit get started. You'll be presented with the options to either create a new call screen or join an existing one. Should you choose to create a new one, all you have to do is to click the button, give it a name, then hit create and join. But that's not what I'm gonna do right now. I would instead like to join an existing call screen. So I click that button and Till actually created this call screen we're gonna use earlier and he gave me the URL of a Slack. So all I have to do is to paste it here or if I prefer, I can simply open up a new tab in my browser and paste the URL there. And that will do the exact same thing. It will ask me, do you want to open Coldscreen? But in this case, I go back to the dialog with the link that I just pasted and I hit join. So the first thing you'll see when you enter Coldscreen is this window picker. And as you can see, I can select either a specific window I want to share or I can select all windows. But the way I prefer to share is by using this little tab that you see appears on top of the window when I hover over it. So I'm gonna close this window picker and I will still use this tab feature. So I click share window. And now this window should be popping up on your screen till. Yeah. Excellent. And as you see what Till is already doing, he's scrolling up and down. He's also able to select text. He can click on buttons. So he's able to completely remote control this window that I'm sharing. Uh, and Till, uh, can you share VS Code with me at the same time, please? Yep, one second. Coming up. Excellent. So you see what's happening now is that Till and I are actually sharing at the same time. And that's something that is impossible to do on a window by window basis in any other tool. So Till is now sharing his VS Code window with me. And what I can do is simply to click in it and then just start typing. So I'll add a div in this case. 
close in bracket and say hello world. There you go. So that's how easy it is to share and remote control windows in CoScreen. Now, Till, I would also like to illustrate how you can copy paste. Uh, can you share the blog post we discussed earlier with me? Sure, one sec. And here we go. Excellent. So you see, Till is now uh, putting up a URL, a uh, page with the URL that I don't have, and I can simply just select it on his window and paste it into mine and enter. And that's how easily you can copy paste between windows in CoScreen. So you could see how easy it was to share windows and remote control them in CoScreen. Now I wanna show you what else you can find here in the side panel. There are a few important features. One of them is monitoring the call quality. If you hover your mouse over this little indicator, you can see that currently my call quality is good. If I click on it, I do get more details on why it might be good or why it might be poor, and also some tips on what you can do in order to make it better. You also have a feature in here for inviting others. This brings up a small dialogue where you can invite someone else either by typing his or her email that will send them an invite, or to just copy this secure link that can be used in meeting invites and be pasted into chat tools such as Slack. And you can also schedule meetings using Google Calendar or Outlook. And if you want to get really professional about it, you can get the Chrome extension for Google Calendar by clicking this download link here. I'm closing this dialog. What will happen sometimes is that you might have a window in front of another window that's being shared, and then it's hard to understand what Till is actually sharing. But to simplify this, first of all, we have a colored border around Till. You see he's orange, so the windows that he's sharing should also be orange, and I see a little bit of that here behind my window. Uh, in my case, I have a purple border, and as you can see, the sharing tab up here is purple, and on Till's side, he would also see my window with a purple border. If I click here on Till's avatar, you can see that his windows are brought to the top. Uh, and I'll take this occasion to illustrate that this is not just a tool for being used with two people. Or Dog Engelbart, who's also not sharing anything, is able to remote control. So you can see that in this case, Dog's mouse pointer comes into view and he's able to scroll up and down in this window that Till is sharing. Finally, I'm going to show you what happens when you leave a session. So you simply click the leave button here. And in doing so, we will ask you, how was your session? You're able to rate it. Give us five stars if you loved it, or give us four stars. Let us know what you used it for and tell us what we can do better. Submit the feedback, and that is how you use Coldscreen.